All right, guys, so about a week ago, this is what I heard. And I was like, ding! It's here. The Lodge 15-inch carbon steel paella pan. So let's check out the pan. It's definitely light for 15 inches. I don't have a 15 inch cast iron pan, but I have held them before and I thought, good night, what a workout. But this bad boy is awesome. I absolutely love the handles. I hadn't even broken in my griddle yet, and I'm telling you what, I'm already just infatuated with this thing right here. The, I love, guys, you guys see this? You guys see the wells? How thick, how uh, tall this is versus the griddle? This is gonna be awesome. Well, I tell you, I can't wait. So my wife keeps asking me, why do you keep adding your collection? I keep saying, how are you going to do a review with stuff you've already got? I want the new cool things that are out there. So we went to Williams-Sonoma and uh, on the website, because everything right now is shut down. And this was lucky enough to find it 50% off. And I said, well, if I'm going to get this, let's go ahead and get this. And i got to be honest with you, I cannot get over how much cooking surface is in this right here. This is just going to be an epic the ultimate grill accessory, I think. Lightweight. We're going to season up really nice. I'm going to be able to show you guys that. Uh, the handles are just, I just love how the handles stick out a little bit more. It's a lot easier to grab. All right, guys. So this is a seasoning process. Remember, you know what? Let's do this. Full disclosure. We filmed this whole thing an hour ago. You're wondering why we're doing it again? Because it was so windy that Dude. the film was absolutely horrendous. It looks like this. This is what it looks like. <laughs> Everybody watching this video, this pan has absolutely amazed me the whole time. But what we're gonna do is reshoot the whole thing like it was the first time. Might be a little awkward, but this pan has done nothing but absolutely impress me from the first time we seasoned it to even when we cleaned it up. Which was only like an hour ago. An hour ago. <laughs> so let's season this pan. We're gonna show you how we do it. All right, this is our paella uh, 15 inch lodge pan. As you can see, I got my charcoal down. I've moved half of it over. That way I've got a cool spot just in case I need it. I do a lot of cooking like this. It's called indirect cooking. You've got a really hot spot, woo, and a cold spot. All right. The but let me show them the hot spot and the cold spot. Hot, hot spot. spot cold spot cold spot you guys see that crust that's already building now this is after one cook i know it's supposed to be the very first time but like i said the video was absolutely horrendous okay all right guys so what we're doing we're just scraping down the grill just cleaning the grill grates i've already dumped the charcoal this thing is roaring hot we're going to get our pan right in the middle Look how much space that covers. This is a 26 inch Weber Summit kettle. And I gotta tell you, this is this is just gonna be perfect. I'm just super excited. You guys see that? That's what we're doing today, Crisco. That's how we're gonna season this bad boy. All right. Now, a lot of people say when you season your cast iron or your carbon steel that you should use flaxseed oil. I gotta be honest with you. I'm not paying $18.99 for flaxseed oil only to season a pan once or twice and then get ready to season another pan. There's a hundred different ways online to season it. I bought Crisco. That's how I season my lodge. That's how I season my cast iron. And uh, I'm just gonna show you how we do it. The pan is gonna be, become screaming hot. And what it's gonna do is gonna burn off the oil. And it's gonna leave a very, 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 very small thin layer on the bottom. And that's how you start building layers. Just to give your heads up, I'm not even affiliate with lodge. I get absolutely no money from telling me how great this pan is. And I'm actually excited to shoot this video twice because I just want to cook on this pan again. That's true. All right, paper towels. People say, oh, you can't use paper towels because the it leaves lint. Well, I do it. Never hurt my seasoning. Just like you season a pan for the first time, it's always gonna take a little bit more oil. And the more it gets seasoned, the less oil you end up using. See the lint? I'll end up wiping that out and it won't hurt it a bit. See how it's smoking? 
it's burning the heat it's burning the oil right now that's exactly what you want and you can see through the process can you see that through the video without burning the phone that how that's darker that's good that's what we want that's how you build flavor but since this is the quote unquote first time that won't be there for you all right season it up now we're just going to let this burn off the burn off the uh the oil and it's going to be seasoned how long are we letting this burn off babe golly it's going to vary it depends on it's not about timing it's about what it looks like when it's done can you see the smoke coming off the pan that's the oil that's the yep. crisco burning okay once that's done burning it's going to stop smoking once it's done smoking then we're where we need to be I will tell you this, if you want to do it on the grill and you don't have the coals 100% underneath it, go ahead and just rotate it, okay? When you rotate it, it's going to give it a, uh, you know, it's going to help heat it evenly. I can see the people now just screaming about this lint and it won't even bother it one bit when it's all said and done. Look at this pan, there's no sticking at all. And I was so worried where are we going to be able to have dinner without me getting mad because it's brand new pan? Mm. All right, full soy sauce. Here we go. All right, so I've changed up. I've changed things up a little bit. You guys see this pan is still dirty, and this is from my second cook. We've done the ribeyes, we've done the vegetables, we've done the mushrooms. We've added the ribeyes and the mushrooms together. I've left the pan dirty. I hope you can see that. Everybody wants to do a cast iron review about cooking an egg. And I'm like, there's so much more food out there. Wow. Why? They say egg is the thing that sticks the most. So I said, well, let's do an egg. So here we go. The Lodge 15 inch paella carbon steel. Because I'm Ooh. so confident. Splattering. A little salt. A little pepper. We're going to rotate this off the heat. It's already non stick. You know, you know, you know how great this pan is? You ready? No spatula, no nothing. I hope I can touch without burning myself. Here. You ready? Watch this. Nah. Woo. I, I don't know. I, why did we not have this pan before? I'm going to tell you what. This pan. Just in case you thought this was video editing. I mean, I don't know how you get him more satisfied with the pan. Well, honey, that wasn't so good. <laughs> well, I mean. Let the people know you know how to cook an egg. Millie's. Millie's egg. How? how? This Boy. pan does it for you. I mean, if it was a scrambled egg, you could put vegetables in there and do an omelet. All right. <laughs> Our egg's done. Now, let me show you guys something real quick. This is not enough tissue, but we're going to do it anyways. Just like all your other carbon steel or cast iron, we're not going to rinse it out. All we're going to do is wipe it out. Let's move it off to the Remember now, this was with uh, what? No flaxseed oil. This was with a paper towel that had lint in it. And all these people out there say that you gotta do it this way and you gotta do it that way. If you got a way that you do it, do it your way. Just like cooking. Add what you wanna add and do what you wanna do. Just do you. <laughs> all right, we're gonna put it back on the heat. Bring it back up to a smoke point. All right, so we did the video yesterday about seizing this uh, carbon steel pan from Wallach. And I thought all night last night, was it good enough? Did you get enough information? We're trying to do two videos in once. I could not wait to get out there and make that Japanese food. But I wanted to season the carbon steel pan at the same time. So what we've done this morning, we just woke up and I said, honey, we've got to start filming again. I want to make sure that you guys know the goods and bads about the pan. And yesterday, I got to be honest with you, I haven't found a bad thing about the pan yet. 
I stayed up most of the night trying to do research on what people thought about the pan. I tried to read the reviews of other people and um, just try to come to you guys and let you know what we think about the pan. 100% honesty, all, all out on the table. So here we go. I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. I'm just gonna make a quick breakfast omelet. And uh, while we're doing that, I'm just gonna talk about the, uh, the pan. You know, yesterday I was doing, like I said, I was watching the videos and some people were so discouraged by the fact they couldn't have put an egg in a pan on the very first try. And I thought, after watching the videos, I thought, man, it didn't seem like you seasoned the pan. Like, did you not need to season the pan? Was there something I was missing? So I read the instructions again. And nothing on this says you have to season the pan to start with. But I thought, you know, yesterday during the videos, you guys see, you know, I went ahead and added a coating of um, Crisco oil and let it heat up to uh, the smoke point because that's what we've always done when we season our cast iron, you know, our cast iron pans. I thought, why not? So I did that and we were very successful yesterday. You guys see that the that one egg looked like it was ice skating. I mean, there was no stickage at all. The rice never stuck. Stickage. Stickage? I didn't think it was stickage. Did you just make that word up? I make a lot of words up. My vocabulary is very, very broad. All right. Get this video going. A little butter. A little olive oil. So we'll dump our vegetables in. Yeah, so what I was saying, the, the pan never once yesterday wavered from what I thought it could have been. Um, Doing fried rice in a brand new skillet to me is probably about as rogue as you can get. Um, it has a really great tendency to stick, I think, much more than an egg. So I'm really surprised when people say, let's put the egg to the test. Uh, we had it on extremely high heat yesterday. It was uh, really easy to cool down, much unlike the, um, the, uh, the cast iron. Sometimes it takes a little long. I was able to wash it out with just a little hot water, and we came back in and we did the rice. Um, I absolutely love the high walls. Now this is a little bit thinner than some of the carbon steel pans that I've felt before. I've never had one before. This is my first one, but that didn't bother me at all. Um, I'm not saying I'm 100% loyal to Lodge, but the price point, I just couldn't beat the price point. So that's why we went with it. Um, the handles, even though this has been preheating, uh, for the whole length of the video, maybe a couple minutes before, I mean, these handles, they're warm, but they're pretty cool. So put it that way. My theory, since these handles are open, that it's just like the Lodge Black Lock skillet that we're going to review in the future. Um, the handles have been designed for airflow to get in there. So they cool down. So even on your pan, on your stove top. You can move it around, you can use it just like a, uh, if you had a gas range, you could take it and move it back and forth on your stove. Basically, do another egg dish to let you guys know it wasn't a one hit wonder. It's not like we just seasoned it all day, the pan was screaming hot, you had too much butter in there, and there's no way that an egg would have stuck anyways. So, well, at least anyway, that's what I was worried about. So, so we're gonna try it out. With this much space, normally I'll take my vegetables off because I like a really clean omelet. But you guys see how much space it is. So we're just gonna beat our eggs. So here we go. Something very, very simple, very easy. Just a little bit of olive oil. You guys hear that sizzle? That's a good indication that you know that your egg, or that your pan has come up to temperature. Let this go a little bit. We're gonna end up putting the cheese in there. We've added our salt and pepper. We've sauteed our vegetables. Look, I don't know if you can see this. Here's another good thing about, this. every time I use this pan, something else comes up. You see you see the, how wide my eye is? When you put this on there, you're able to move some stuff off the heat because the pan bottom is so long or so large that you don't have to worry about overcooking your vegetables while your omelet's cooking. cheese, eggs, and vegetables. Now obviously if you had some meat, you could throw some meat in there. Now don't grade me for my flipping skills. I just wanted to show you guys how good the uh, 
the eggs did in this pan. See, look at that. I mean, I really just don't see what else you could ask for from a pan. It's got a, it's gonna hold a ton of food. To me, it's, it's done just as good as cast iron. Very well seasoned, seasoned really fast. If you guys have any questions or comments or uh, wanna see more reviews, just make sure you leave a, a comment down below. Look at that. I don't, I just don't. Now well, that's mine. That's my omelet, don't eat too much. Hey. You know, my final thoughts on this pan. It is absolutely, let's redo the whole thing. My final thoughts on the pan, A plus. I haven't found one thing wrong with it yet. I know I could shallow fry in it. I think it's gonna be great for country fried steak. Um, you could use it as a baking dish for um, even like putting your biscuits in there. I haven't found any excuse not to use it. Matter of fact, I found more excuses to use it than I have my other pan. If you guys are in the market for a large uh, 15 inch paella pan, I would strongly urge you to get it. You can use it indoors, outdoors, and I'm sure you can use it out there in the campsite. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to press that subscribe button. See you guys.